Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Jane. Um, this video is about how I found doing a graduate entry medical degree uh, as a non-science graduate. So start off by introducing myself if you don't know me. Uh, I'm Lauren Jane, I'm an F2, I'm interested in surgery and I'm a graduate entry medic. Um, I trained at Nottingham and I had a theology degree, would you believe it, before I started medicine. So um, if you're watching this video, you're probably someone who's thinking about doing the GAMSAT and doing a, a, a GEM degree. And you're probably wondering just how you're going to cope and how you're going to get through it. Um, so I wanted to make this video just to tell you it's fine, you'll get through it, it's going to be okay. Um, is medical school more difficult for you if you don't have a, a sciences degree? The answer, unfortunately, is a massive yes, it's, um, especially on, in my opinion. So when, when I first started at medical school, they did a poll of everyone in the cohort of what uh, degrees they had. As hands went up, 80% of the cohort by, had um, biomedical sciences degrees, biology degrees, um, and then the, another 10 to 15 percent had a science degree, chemistry or physics. And then the remaining five percent, which is me, are your arts degrees. There was a couple of history. So there was an English, there was theology. Um, so probably you'll find yourself in quite a small minority. The reason that it becomes so difficult for you is people who've got biomedical sciences degrees, things like that. They have such a firm base in the content that you're about to study. So for them, often they're expanding on knowledge they already have and they're consolidating, whereas for you, it's brand new, especially because medical school is so competitive. Um, it makes it hard because it's hard. You know, if, if I've got many friends who had biomedical sciences degrees, if they would stand here, they would never, ever tell you that that degree is easy. It's really, really difficult. It's just harder for you. Um, the playing field is, is not level at all. But can it be done? Yes, absolutely can be done. I think the thing to focus on is I found that of the when you break the degree down, you've got your first 18 months, which is preclinical, which is where your year is lopped off. And then you've got your remaining 2.5 years clinical. Once we got to clinical phase, I felt that my knowledge was largely at the same place as everyone else's. It's in those first 18 months where you're going through each module. And for you, it's largely new content, whereas for them, they're building on it. Um, but once you get past that, you know, it's much easier. I have to say, if you're watching this video, you probably this is another piece of good news for you. You probably have more science knowledge than I did. So I, when I was in GCSE, when I was doing my GCSEs, I um, did an applied science course rather than the standard GCSE package of biology and chemistry and physics. So that's things like Kosh and all lab stuff. And then I moved schools halfway through and I did sit the usual standard kind of GCSEs I actually felt like that knowledge was very superficial and I was a year, did a year less than everyone else. So um, I really came from a place of not knowing much science at all when I started GEM. And I, I found it really, really hard because everything was brand new. So I was finding that I was working about 60 hours a week, whereas other people, I think, weren't having to work quite that much. But I got through it and, and so can you. It is, it is doable. It's completely doable. Um, and if you've if you've if you're a person who's who's passed the GAMSAT anyway, you're probably not a million miles off where you need to be in terms of being able to study at that kind of level. Um, I would say um, to invest in good textbooks before you start. It's really important to understand how you learn. So you, it's not about how. What's important with a, a degree like GEM is it's you need to focus on learning efficiently rather than how much time you're spending. Before you start, I'd recommend looking at textbooks kind of like, like these ones that really give you an introduction into how to learn rather than just learning the anatomy and the physiology. And there's a couple of these. Um, Palgraves do one, which um, I had one, but I donated it to a student. Um, but Palgraves is um, how to study. I think it's called how to study. I'll put a little thing just here. Um, teaching you how to study anatomy and physiology is really useful. Um, you can use things like Anki, which is a smart flashcard app that's really useful, or question banks all the way through, very useful. Um, 
because there's very little time, such as downtime, if you want to do a bit of colouring to relax during, you know, your these early phases, these these colouring blocks can be really useful because they're, you know, you can kind of relax as much as anyone can relax on a medical degree. And there's information there as well, so I use those a fair bit. I would also say, you know, you're not going to have to just sit there and work for 18 months. You know, I never worked at weekends unless I had a test coming up. And I think throughout those first 18 months of GEM, I only ever failed one exam, which was a mock. And it was very much a case of, it was at the start and I was really learning how to learn. This is absolutely doable. You can absolutely do this. Um, lean on your peers if you need to. Just get really acquainted with what works for you in terms of your learning. Put the hours in and you'll be absolutely fine as a non-science degree doing graduate entry medicine. Hopefully by the time you get to your clinical phase, you will find that you are swimming the same as everyone else. Um, centiles are not, you know, important outside of medical school. Um, I did graduate in the third centile in my cohort, which I think I'm actually, I'm really proud of that because I came from a non-science background and actually did really well throughout medical school. And the reason I'm telling you that is because absolutely you can as well. There's no reason you can't do as much or as little as you like. As long as you pass, it really doesn't matter where you end up. But, you know, if, if you are so motivated, there's nothing stopping you from really excelling at medical school. I'm sure you'll do absolutely fine. Please leave me comments if you have them. I'll answer any questions as you have them. Or you can find me on Instagram at The Surgical Doctor. Um, best wishes. You re really go and take your dreams if that's what you want to do. Um, thank you very much for watching.